Hey creators, today we're diving into an exciting new feature in YouTube Studio, the Inspiration tab. So if you're looking for fresh ideas to take your content to the next level, this tool is a game changer. I'll walk you through everything you need to know about how it works, what it offers, and how you can use it to stay ahead of trends and connect with your audience like never before. So if you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. I'm Sarah from Blue Lotus Films. I help wellness business owners create a memorable brand with inspiring story-driven videos. Please subscribe if you like what you see here on my channel today. I really appreciate that. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so here we are on YouTube Studio. Let me show you how to use this inspiration tab. So you go to content to get to the inspiration tab. It's right here at the top, this first tab. And then you have all of these ideas that YouTube has generated. So let's go ahead and look through each of these ideas. So it gave me this one behind the scenes of a farmer's market. I don't really know what that is. I don't know why this idea would be suggested. So some of these ideas you just might want to toss out. They might not be a fit for your channel. Okay, so then the next one says take five with different music genres. Well, that seems interesting. That's actually something I would have never thought of. My channel is about video marketing and video production, so I wouldn't necessarily think about sharing about music genres, but that could potentially be useful to people who aren't familiar with integrating music in their videos. So that's like a seed. You don't have to take it for exactly what they are sharing with you, you can expand on the ideas that YouTube Inspiration tab is giving you. So let's go ahead and dive in and see what this outline is about, the power of musical diversity, and then talking about different genres of music. Now, personally, I am interested in this, but I don't know if my viewers are interested in any of these ideas. And before I commit to any of these ideas, I wanna be completely sure that this is gonna be a good fit for my channel. So what I'm going to do, at, if I see an idea here that I think potentially would be a good fit, I intuitively think, oh yes, this is something that um, is very similar to videos I've made before that people have enjoyed or there's been a large number of views. Then the second step, and this is really important, I'm never gonna go with just the idea that YouTube has given me. I am first going to verify whether it is a viable idea by using TubeBuddy. So you'll see here on this tab, I have YouTube open and I already have the TubeBuddy extension in my YouTube, uh, in my YouTube browser. And so I go and I click on it and I wanna go to Keyword Explorer. And then I can take any of these titles and I can put them into the TubeBuddy Keyword Explorer. Okay, so I did look at these um, a little bit earlier. So I know that this particular video, editing tips for short vertical videos. Okay, this one actually does seem like a really good fit. I intuitively know my viewers are probably interested in hearing from me on this topic because I have made other videos on my channel related to vertical videos. Okay, and, and also I very much uh, talk about video editing, right? So let's look at the outline that it's giving me. Okay, so this is a great starting point. I don't have to use all of these bullet points. If I wanted to add something to any of these outline, any part of this outline, I can come over here, I can brainstorm, I can add. Um, it gives me even more suggestions here. So I can continue to expand on this. Um, and so the next step is actually seeing, is this a viable title? And so I will take this, I will copy it, and I will paste it into the TubeBuddy Keyword Explorer. This is absolutely essential before I even start making the video, before I commit to this idea, because I, TubeBuddy already has the information about SEO. And as I've shared on my channel before, it's really not 
worth my time if I am making a video and it's just some idea that I think might be good, it might not actually be what my viewers are searching for in YouTube. And TubeBuddy already knows that and knows how to give me the best titles, the best keywords, the best tags, etc. And so I can tell this is a great title because TubeBuddy says, this is a weighted search result. Weighted means it is according to my channel. It's specific to my channel, not for all of YouTube, but for my channel. It's an excellent result. And that's absolutely what I want. I don't want a fair result, a good result, a very good result. Sometimes I'll go with very good, but most often I'm always looking for that excellent, excellent result. And so this is amazing because looking at this, okay, you know, I might be thinking of ideas and I might, you know, kind of just brainstorm on my own. But do you see how fast this happened that I was able to get that title? I was able to get an outline and then I was able to verify it with TubeBuddy. And now I can save this. I actually already did save it and I can start making my video. Now, I just want to go back here to the the search results here, um, the, the inspiration, let's call it the inspiration results. So it gave me some other ideas as well. And so I would go through those same steps to actually verify creating Zoom filters. I do have a video on my channel creating Zoom filters. So you can see this idea is not far off left field like this behind the scenes of a farmer's market. I mean, I do speak to wellness business owners, so maybe that's where YouTube got that idea, but this one is not so far off left field, so I could again verify it with TubeBuddy. Let's see, is this a good title? Now this is just an idea, It's and, and you'll see below, there are many different title ideas. So I just wanna see this specific title, is that one gonna be a good? title. No, it's a good title, but I don't want a good title. I want excellent or second best, very good. So we can go back here and we can continue with the process. Zoom filters that make your meetings fun. Let's explore that. And see, this one is a much better title. Amazing. It could have taken me an hour <laughs> to come up with that specific title, you know, just brainstorming on my own. So now we have an, a little assistant, an AI assistant in YouTube that is going to help us out, okay? So you would continue with this process. So I'm gonna save this idea, and then I'm gonna go into the outline. And the next step that I would do, you can do it however you want, but currently the inspiration tab is just for ideas. It's not for actually creating your script. Maybe in the future they will allow you to create your script, but what you would wanna do for now is I would go into a Google Doc and then I'm gonna start copying over this outline. So I'm gonna copy and paste it. It's trying to paste it, let's see. So I'm gonna copy and paste it, copy, paste okay and i would continue with the rest of the outline copying and pasting and then i can come over here and i can expand on my script or i can at least have bullet points i always recommend for every video that you record please have bullet points so you know what you're gonna say um you don't get tripped up on your words now there's other things you can do you can um use these bullet points use the outline and bring it into another ai service like chat gpt or google gemini or claude or whatever ai service you use that i might not even know about and um continue to expand on your script and literally this could probably take you less than a half hour. I would say between 15 minutes and a half hour, and you are going to have a full script to use for YouTube. All right, that's a wrap on our walkthrough of the Inspiration tab. 
So as you can see, this feature is packed with tools and insights to spark your creativity and help grow your channel. So whether it's trending topics, content suggestions, or audience insights, the Inspiration tab is here to make your creative process smoother and more exciting. Like, let's get motivated to make videos, right? So if you found this demo helpful, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe, please, for more video production and video marketing tips. And please drop a comment if you are planning to use this feature. I sincerely would love to hear from you. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a fantastic day and I will see you in the next video.